Hey guys, I did something this past week that some of my friends say are, uh, is blasphemous. I shouldn't have done it. I'm crazy. I've lost my mind. Uh, I sold my uh, somewhat new Yesu FT891. Why? Well, because I don't need 100 watts. I don't believe in 100 watts, and I think 20 watts is all it takes. Don't believe me? I'm going to lay it out for you and show you really, for me and my needs and what I uh, I do, 20 watts is, is the power to use. Stick around. So what did I do? Yeah, I sold my 100 watt radio because um, I do have another one, but um, I wasn't using it. I got it for the fact of thinking that I could uh, do better things. And when I first got it, I actually took it out on the beach um, and used it. And I used it a week after uh, on the same location, same day, just the next week, um, same time of day at the, at the crack of dawn. Where I had a, uh, I had a 10 watt, the week before I used the 10 watt QRP, um, the X6100 in this location and tested it. And the very next week it came back with the 100 watts. And yes, I did notice a difference between 10 watts QRP and 100 watts. But what I done that in other situations where I use my 20 watt Zygu G90 compared to the uh, 100 watt FT891, I just, I'm sorry, from experience of using it now for six, seven months, I, 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 there's just not, as I like to say, there just wasn't enough juice for the squeeze there. I, I would, getting just as good, if not better contacts using the 20 watts. With that radio too, I really enjoyed the fact that I have, as small as it is, um, an SDR screen, a waterfall that I could see, along with that radio having an ATU. And the big part about that is the price of the FT891 compared to that 20 watt radio or pretty much any of them. It's, it's almost double. And uh, I don't think it's, you don't get double the power and definitely don't get double the features. And I'm not putting down the FT891. It's a great little radio. As far as 100 watt radios, I don't think you could do any better. I'm just saying for my situation, I didn't need it. Now everyone goes, wow, how could 100 watts be uh, only a, only one S unit better than than 20 watts? You know, if you got a F9, uh, a 59 signal on 100 watts and you got a, a 58 for 20, how is that? Well, that's because 100 watts is not five times more powerful than 20 watts. It's all about decibels and understanding decibels. I'm not going to go into a deep theory on that, but I will tell you this. Uh, I'll put a link below. Uh, Callum McCormick, uh, DX Commander, has a really good a um, video. It, it kind of outlines and really simplifies decibels. But at the end of the day, if using one watt as a uh, reference is one watt is uh, zero decibels. And from 1 to 100 watts, you can see 100 watts being 20 decibels and 20 watts only being 13. Now, the difference in an S unit is, per se, theoretically, is 6 dB. So from 13 to 20 is 7. So somewhere in the neighborhood of 6 to 7 dB difference between 20 watts and 100 watts. So don't think linear power. Don't think that 100 watts is five times you know stronger than than 20 watts. No, it's seven decibels are roughly over one S unit stronger than 20 watts. So I, you know, for me, it's easier, smaller battery to go portable with 20 watts. And I'm not just talking about, I've got a couple or had a couple different 20 watt radios and I'm looking into other ones. I just think that people, I get the question all the time, like, Hey, uh, what do you think? Can you compare the uh, FT891 to the, the G90? Well, here you go. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, they, they don't compare. The, to, to me, uh, it really depends on what you want. If you want 100 watts and you you, you know you want to put it in a car, nice configuration, uh, using a resonant antenna, and mono band at a time or whatever, then the FT891 is the radio for, your, for you. And I don't dislike the radio. I just think if you're really considering something to go portable, especially as a new ham and you're just beginning and you're looking at those two, Take a hard look at the at, at the uh, Zygu G90 because the 20 watts will get you out. If you've followed my channel for the last couple of years, you see me with not just the uh, the G90, the uh, the FX4CR, another 20 watt radio I use. 
talked around the world. Long path. I've been around. I've talked to VK ZL from here, in, you know, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, from I've gone to Europe with both of them. Like I said, I use only a little six amp hour battery. You don't need a big power supply at home either. I use this little plug in, you know, variable power output thing that uh, that would supply me five or six amps, and uh, it's it's all you need, and it's 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 where it's at. So. That's why I sold the radio. I sold my my FT891 because I really don't need it. I don't. I only need 20 watts, and um, and it just wasn't the radio for me. It might be for you. I'm sure someone's going to comment and say, oh, you know, I'm all about the brand. I'm all about Yesu. I'll never buy Chinese crap, whatever. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, good for you. That's you, not me. For me, it was all about the 20 watts. I love it, especially in the situations where I like to build different antennas, I really get to see how well that antenna will perform with a 20 watt radio compared to 100 watts because you know I'm forcing myself to build better antennas. Yeah, it has an ATU, which lets me get away with a lot there as well. But you know, it's really I, for portable ops and 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 also locations being your salt water or whatever. It's better. It's just a better setup for me and a better radio. So really look hard and really do some research. Go check out Callum's video on decibels. It's a really good video. I think you'll like it. And just understand the ratio of power ratio as well as signal ratios for RF signals and output. Hope that kind of lets you understand. Yeah, call me blasphemous You can uh, for uh, for selling my FT891. But um, hey... I'm I'm just I'm I'm sold I'm sold on on 20 watts I I even like 20 watts better than the 10 watt QRP rigs I sold the X 6100 as well I don't like 10 watts for me 20 watts it's the perfect perfect amount of power and um, I'm actually looking around at it buying I, I sold those radios for a reason I want to buy another 20 watt radio and play with it anyway if you enjoy uh, getting out going portable playing with antennas, playing with low-power radios, then please like and subscribe because that's pretty much all I do. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. 73, my friends.